Hi, this is Christine with CareStream Health. I'm here with Dr. Elliot Siegel of University of Maryland, Love, live on the floor of SIM 2017. Yeah. Um, day one, what do you think so far? What are some of the overall impressions thus far? I think the biggest impression is the fact that we have um, increased attendance at SIM this year. There seems to be a renaissance of interest. There's a really cool program and lots of things going on right. that are interactive, um, including the hackathon, including um, talks on analytics. And it's really great for me to right. see so much information being presented on machine learning and uh, artificial intelligence applications, right. which, as you know, is an area that I'm particularly interested in. Absolutely. So lots of excitement, lots of energy for uh, yes. day one. Attendance is up. and uh, A lot really of first cool. timers here as yeah, well. They yeah. asked this morning at the, uh, um, the keynote. initial keynote session, and I was really surprised at how many people raised their hand as first timers, which is really exciting for me to have the ability to be able to um, have lots of people introduced to the Absolutely. topics at um, Sound. Certainly shows the insurgents into a lot of the new technology and new interest in that. You mentioned yes. analytics. Yes. Certainly a hot topic here at Sim already this yes. morning. You know, what do you think about that technology so far, and how? How does that relate to imaging? Right, well, I think it relates directly to imaging in so many different ways, but you know there's more talk about replacing radiologists and talk about having AI actually do findings and make interpretations, whereas I think AI can do so many amazing things, figuring out how can we um, deliver the right dose to patients with regard to radiation and contrast, figuring out what is the best way to be able to optimize quality? What's the best way to be able to um, have the best possible communication right. um, with our patients and among um, clinicians? And what are the best ways that we can deliver efficient service? And Absolutely. machine learning, I think, is being very much underutilized in those areas. And so I'm Agree. super excited, and I'd love to see the theme shift a little bit from an emphasis on doing the image interpretation to an emphasis on... Such a narrow on, part of that. Exactly, yep. to an emphasis on being able to apply machine learning to make radiology better, safer, more efficient, and more effective for our patients. Absolutely, I mean, that's, I think, if you look at how analytics is applied to the consumer technology side of the things, mm -hmm. you're so already seeing that sort of uh, over sort of every evolving journey of how analytics is applied into everyday processes to make yes. it better. Yes. Um, so then to your point, you know, what do you think um, radiologists can do today then to kind of position themselves into this sort of new world and paradigm shift? I think what radiologists can do is to educate themselves at conferences like this about what machine learning really is and what it really isn't. There's yeah. a tremendous amount of hype and there's some fear and concern but a lot of excitement. Yeah. And I think learning what it is and learning how they can apply it locally to their own practices, yeah. how they can ask the right questions when vendors come by. There's yeah. a lot of startups that are coming and oh, a lot yes, of indeed. wonderful and here too, established I companies yeah. um, such as CareStream that yeah. are doing so many um, interesting things with machine learning to learn about um, how it can be applied in ways that are able to reinvent the uh, practice of radiology. Absolutely. I think it's an amazing opportunity. Indeed, opportunity for the future. Yes. Well, thank you so much for joining sure. us today. My pleasure, always. Thanks.